वन ऑफ द एसोसिएट्स ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु वृंदावन दास ठाकुर वन ऑफ द एसोसिएट्स इन हिज कीर्तन ही हैज रिटन ये देश ये देश वैसे गौरांगे रगन द एसोसिएट्स ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु फ्रॉम विच एवर प्लेस दे आर I bow down to all of them. Why? Because the associates of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are capable of delivering full Brahmanda, full universe. Why they get this ability? The only reason is their devotion for Krishna. If we are a devotee of Krishna, automatically by the mercy of Krishna, we will get the ability to rescue all Brahmand. Brahmand tarite shakti dhare jane jane. Each and every person gets the ability to save. whole brahman the whole universe so we all are capable in saving brahman the it mean to say that in the whole body if we see our own body body itself is an universe where innumerable number of souls are existing so it's not just only one soul there are many souls in this body but one is primary one soul is primary soul which is the lord of this he is the king of all other souls if that soul surrenders to krishna he will be able to rescue all the souls within this body and those who become uttama bhagavats means the very dear most devotees of the lord they get the ability they get uh, uh, the strength to rescue the whole universe so ultimately <coughs> if we surrender to krishna if we take shelter of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu automatically we can save ourselves as well as we can help others also shri chaitanya mahaprabhu that is the reason he says the one who got the birth in the very sacred land bharat what a person has to do janma sarthak kari first you have to save yourself rescue yourself you have to make your life successful and then help others kar para upkar you have to help others a person how he gets the strength to help others when he is devoted to the supreme lord and a person whoever is devoted to the supreme lord he can be from any region or in any form he is considered very special he is considered very special the speciality is not because of the person the speciality is because of the supreme lord and his devotion what is there in devotion what is there in devotional service whatever is there in this world is not there here birth is there disease is there old age is there death is there pain is there suffering is there anxiety is there stress is there so many things are there miserable and then lust is there anger is there greed is there envy is there ego is there and jealous which is most dangerous thing a person whoever is lusty no problem he will be saved 
A person who is anger person, he is also saved. But a person who is greedy, he is also saved. But a person with jealous, he can never be saved. That is there here. And in devotion, it's totally opposite. Nothing is there. Only pure love is there. Love for God is there. Love for Krishna is there. Once if we can love Krishna, we can love every creature, every part of his creation. That is there in loving devotional service. If we devote to Krishna. So a person, whoever is devoted to Krishna, he can love everyone. When you can love, the, when you don't have any ulterior motive, then only you can love. What is ulterior motives? Very difficult. There are three things which are the most dangerous things. Everything comes under these three things only. Desire for opulences. Desire for money and opulence. And desire for association with opposite sex. And desire for name and fame. Most dangerous things. Whatever we are doing in this world, we are doing everything for these three things only. Which is called as Kanakkamini Pratishta. And Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada, in one of his kirtan, Kanak Kamini Pratishta Vahagini, Chadiya Chejar Sei To Vaishnav, Sei Anasat Sei Suddha Bhakta. He has written in that kirtan that the one who can give up the desire for opulences, money, the desire for association with opposite sex, the desire for name and fame. Chadiya Chijar, one who has given up completely. Say to Vaishnav, he is Vaishnav. He is the devotee of the Lord. And Sei Anasatta, that person is not attached to anything worldly. And that person is Sei Suddha Bhakta, he is pure devotee of the Lord. When you go to that person, he will love you from the heart. In this world, people, they love because of their expectations. There, there is no expectation. There is only to give. <coughs> so while performing devotional service, what we have to do, the most essential part which we have to do while performing devotional service is to stay away from these three things which are very dangerous. Especially the desire for opulence and the desire for opposite sex is not that dangerous. But the one which is more subtle, which is um, very subtle, it's not visible, it can only be felt, is the desire for name and fame, which is more dangerous. The desire for money, you can see the person is working very hard and trying to get money or when he sees something, some opulences, then he, he, he gets tempted. And you can see the person in his face when he has lust. But when a person has the desire for name and fame, it's not visible. Many times he may speak in a very humble way. But if you just do like this, immediately it comes out, ah, like that. It's very dangerous. Even though a, a 50 years ago someone insulted you, you will remember till today on that day in front of everyone, one fellow insulted me very badly and you will never like to talk to that person and if possible you will also try to insult that person. Why? Because the desire for name and fame are that dangerous. 
and these are the real hindrance in the practicing of pure devotional service. If we want to rescue ourselves, especially one who has taken shelter in the lotus feet of Sri Guru, Guru Tattva is one. There is no discrimination of my Guru, your Guru, his Guru, that Guru. Guru Tattva is one, they are coming from Baldev and then Nityananda Prabhu. So one whoever has taken shelter in the lotus feet of Guru Tattva, in the lotus feet of Sri Nityananda Prabhu, through the representing Acharya, through the representing Guru, they all, it's their responsibility that we have to be very careful while performing devotional service. By doing what we can get benefit, benefit of our sadhana. We are performing sadhana, but if we are not careful in performing sadhana, then we will not be able to help ourselves. But if we can perform sadhana properly, we can save ourselves as well as we can help others also and fulfill the desire of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We can fulfill the desire of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And among this, the most difficult part is to come out of this Pratishtha. Raghunath Das Goswami, he says in his uh, Manasiksha, this uh, desire for name and fame is like a um, very bad uh, character person dancing in the region of the heart like a crooked person, wicked person and it's like a unchaste uh, a woman dancing in the region of my heart and I am unable to uh, kick her out because someone outside you can kick easily but someone within the heart how you will kick and because it is inside I am unable to make uh, the pure love of God reside in my heart. Speak. I lost the context. Okay. I don't know how to translate this. <laughs> so the thing is, uh, in the uh, Pratishtha is like an unchaste woman dancing in the region of my heart. So if something which is gross can be kicked out, but the thing which is more subtle cannot be thrown out which is in the heart. As a result, I am unable to place the pure love of God in my heart. So who can help me? Only the army chief members of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, those who are Rup and Sanatan Goswami, if I get their mercy, then only I will be able to do it. How? After that for me there is nothing to do. Only thing I have to do is to take shelter of Rup Sanatan Goswami. As a result of this, they will kick this person from my heart and purify my heart. We have to surrender to Guru. Rup Sanatan Goswami means what? We are Rupanugas. We have to take shelter of Rupa Goswami and the Acharyas coming in the line of Sri Rupa Goswami and surrender to them and follow the instructions of Sri Guru and chant the holy name. We should not be miser in chanting the holy name. If we chant the holy name under the guidance, under the shelter of Sri Gurudev, automatically this will go away. The desire for name and fame which will be kicked out completely. It is said in the Kirtan, <coughs> very much stressed about this particular point of name and fame and said that Vishayi Pratishtha Sukhareya Vishtha the, the name and fame of this world and worldly persons is like the stool of a hog is compared to the stool of hog it's very rotten, very, very dirty 
but unfortunately we are inclined to it so how to overcome this we can easily overcome by following the instructions of the spiritual master if someone harms if someone doesn't give proper fame proper regard then only the envy comes then only all other things comes if a person has envy a lusty person may not have greed a lusty person may not have anger a lusty person may not have a attachment may be possible but if a person who is envious he has all the six things within him and it comes and we will never know sometimes that remains very subtle in the heart it's not visible externally and that subtle thing makes a knot in the heart and which is unable to open even we are unable to open the knot so it looks many times that we are chanting we are associating but at the end of the day there is no good result the result is not so pleasant so what we have to do sant eva chindanti mano vyasanga mukti bhi those dirty knots which we have made in our heart will be broken only by the mercy of pure devotees who are their pure, those pure devotees shri rup sanatan goswami and his personal associates chindanti chindanti mean, means to break mano vyasanga mukti bhi by their divine teachings only thing we should have the desire to take their instructions if we take them then automatically it starts to work and the desire for these three things will go away the moment they are gone immediately you can see everything is completely bright all three things together is called as hiranyakashipu if you see in the sanskrit language if you see in uh, shrimad bhagavatam it is very clearly said hiranya means opulence gold opulence money kashipu means bed means attachment for opposite sex and the what is the thing which is joining both is name and fame desire for name and fame so it's very subtle it's not visible very clearly only his desire for money is visible and desire for other thing is visible it's not visible it is joining both of them it is in the middle and you can see what kind of uh, a the situation hiranyakashipu has created it is seen in shrimad bhagavatam that he is so dangerous that he can't tolerate anything not a single person can devote himself in the service of the lord means as long as hiranyakashipu is in the heart we are unable to engage ourselves in the service of the lord he won't allow you to do that he is all the time there and he won't let you do anything but if a person truly follows shri guru the teachings of shri guru like prahlad what prahlad did prahlad has taken the instructions given by his gurudev and start to follow them as a result what happened Lord Narsim Dev appeared there. Lord Narsim Dev appeared. That was the place where not a single person is devotee. No one could worship the Lord. No one could serve the Lord. It's so dangerous there. Even in the temples, they used to remove the deities of the Lord and keep the deity of Hiranyakashipu. in this world you can see people it's so dominating these things are so dominating that people they surrender to them completely 
They will forget who is God, what is God, how to worship, why to worship, no need. They simply surrender to these three things and then they spend their life. But if someone is sincere, someone is devoted like Prahlad Maharaj, how to devote following the instructions of his spiritual master? When in the assembly of Hiranyakashipu he was asked, say something. Whatever you think is good. What did Prahlad say? Tat sadhu manye asurvarya dehinam. He was asked, you tell my dear son what you think is truth. He says, Tat sadhu manye asurvarya dehinam sada samudvigna dhyam asad grihat. He immediately remembered the teachings of his spiritual master Narad Goswami. I understand that it is the truth. What is the truth? The house where there is no association of devotees, where there is no holy name is like a dark well. If someone falls into it, there is no water. There is no water, so no one goes there because it's dark well. So, Hitvatma Patam Grihamanda Kupam, that dark well, the house in the form of dark well, you should immediately leave it because it is the place of soul's destruction. Vanam Gatova Yad Harimashret, you go out and take shelter of Bhagavan Shri Hari. Who taught him this? Who taught him? Gurus never taught him, those who are visible. His friends, they ask him, Prahalat, from where you got to learn all this? Then he says, I took all these instructions from my spiritual master, Narad Goswami. When we surrender to the spiritual master, he mercifully gives us instruction. And when we try to imbibe those instructions within our heart and surrender to Gurudev and surrender to the holy name and chant the holy name nicely, properly, then these things will go away. Who will kick them? Lord himself will kick them. How he will kick them? He will appear and you can see that Hiranyakashipu, his body is so strong that it is said Akshata Twacha means the weapon of Indra can't make a scratch on the body of Hiranyakashipu. Forget about harming him. It can't even make a scratch. And Lord Narsingdev appeared and kept him on his lap and pierced him. Took out all his intestines. Means the desire for Kanakkamini Pratishtha, these three things, Lord will appear and then pierce it and pull it out and throw completely. And free the devotee from all these problems, all these sufferings. And such devotee, he can rescue 21 parents of his past. He can rescue the whole universe. He can rescue everyone. We should surrender to Guru properly and chant Harinam properly. By chanting Harinam properly, whoever sees us, whomsoever we meet, everyone will be benefited. It's not wise idea to remain in this world for a long time because this place is not meant to live for a long time. We have to move fast as early as possible. If we don't do that, we have to suffer later. We are fortunate that we got that rare human form of life and not only the rare human form of life, we got the association of spiritual master and we are getting chance to associate with other devotees and we should make the best use of it and the best use of this can be done only by chanting of Harinam properly with full dedication and devotion unto the lotus feet of the Lord.
then whatever hindrances will come, everything will be finished by the mercy of the Lord and we become completely pure. Where we can go to the Lord and serve Him in His eternal abode and never return. Thank you, Hare Krishna.